Hello, my name is Pony7, and welcome back to DCS with the uh, the Museum Relic campaign. Last time, well, we uh, helped out with uh, securing some stuff from a enemy uh, aircraft that had crashed behind friendly lines. Now we're going to do Mission Three: The KH-22 Monster. My heart was so racing; can't believe it. I actually, I actually pulled the trigger on two boats and sunk them. Friends always asked before I left to go to war if I could carry through and shoot someone if I had to. Well, that answered that, and it wasn't even a question in my mind at the time. They were shooting at me and my allies, and it was going to come down to us or them, and that's how I rationalized it. Anyway, the mission went as planned. The helicopters landed and unloaded the troops. I went and made some quick salvaging work. I wonder if they'll be able to tear the whole plane down and assemble it at a nearby airport. Once I landed here at Soldier, they had me parked right next to this TU-22. The moment I shut down... The soldier that marshaled me in reined up and gave me a letter. It was my orders for the next mission. Partner of the Army. Headquarters, 24th Air Division, Sochi Atler Air Base. Brian Quass, Base Commander. That was great work. You do escort. Your next mission was starting immediately. Once you shut down, you'll be getting fuel. Uh, TU-22 on your right is being loaded with an anti-ship missile. It's going to take care of that large ship on the IL-76, that's what it is. Take off behind the TU-24 and stay in his left wing. You'll be part of his escort. There will be, there will be a tornado joining you as well. Signed, Base Commander. Whew, that's a big old missile. The fuelers came up to my aircraft just to finish reading the letter. They unbolted it at 120... 120 gallon wing tanks and proceed to top up top off my internals that might need the additional airspeed to keep up with the TU-22. Yeah, I think we might uh, We might get a better look at this flying beast that said to easily outrun me. Okay, I see their point in that they are larger than my saver. There's two of them During my morning work, the side and composite of the aircraft, I'd be escorting the ground crew for the TU-22 to show up with its ordnance. A single KH-22, which is that thing, which is massive. Ooh, quite detailed. Oh, so we're not going very far, I can tell you that right now, if it's... Oh, maximum range is... Minimum... Why is widening my jaw dropped? This missile is impressive, to say the least. It was a little more than four. It was more than four feet longer than my saber, and weighed two thousand one thousand two hundred pounds more than what my Sarah did when she sat empty on the ramp. The KH 22s warhead alone was two thousand two hundred pounds. I flew it with Mach four point five. I could barely break the sound barrier, and I have to be in a shallow dive to do so. This was about a doubt an absolute monster. Don't get in its way. Yeah, definitely don't get in its way. Ordnance, 650 cows. I think we have ammo, we might not do. Details will come after departure. Alright. <laughs> On the back of the letter was a small pitch. From the base ground was a small picture describing some decisions the missile and flight the missile will do. In bold letters on top, it said, Don't get in its way. I saw it was set to fly the upper trajectory flight plan today. Flight plan pages are the same as for mission two. Uh, no channel changes to so channel three. Route, escort, details come after departure. Alright then, so let's get let's get this party started. That's a big missile. That is quite, quite the missile. Alright, so... Let's go and set this to the correct radio frequency. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. So we're now set. Ground power is now on. Look at the size of that thing. That's massive. Jeez. Yeah. Don't get it in its way. That's the understatement of the century. Oh, there's the A-10s from earlier. Oh. 
much fuel do I have? Yeah, just under 3,000 pounds. And I don't have any tanks. I think I have guns. Do I have guns? No, I guess I don't have guns. So, how am I supposed to escort it? If I don't have any guns. Oh, there's a second one. Except that one's not coming out. And that's not a TU 22. Uh, TU 2. Yeah, TU 22. That's something else. But it goes entirely. Well, let's set that to all guns just in case we do have any guns. Auto start complete. Let's go and follow our TU2. Like we're supposed to be. That thing is massive. Well then, hopefully we'll be able to keep up. I hope. <laughs> Let's not burn up too much gas, so taxiing. And certainly we don't have external fuel tanks to pump some more gas in this time. Don't expect to be going too close, because it's... A 60 kilometer minimum range on the low setting and like 220 on the high altitude one. So, I'm pretty sure we'll be launching that thing not that long after we take off. Radio is set to frequency 3. Yeah, it's set to 3. That is good. Just double checking. Flaps should be good. Yeah, flaps are good. Don't have any guns, I don't think. Don't have to worry about that, but they're set to be on if we do have some. Uh, let's not ram the TU-2. 22. That would be a bad plan. Oh, there's some... Uh, that's a tornado, alright. Those are F-18s. Where is this TU-2 going? Oh, it's going off on to... It's trying to go down to the very end of the runway. Makes sense, considering he's got a really great big old missile on his underside onto his belly. It makes sense. Hopefully we don't run across something, anything uh, out there. Because if we do, we don't get any guns, I'm pretty sure. Although we should be coming up to the runway now, at least very shortly. You know, three yet. Let's not go too far off. You know, so let's not get too close. I I'm kind of scared of what's going to happen when that thing launches. Truth be told, I have no idea what that's going to look like. It could be glorious. It could be not. He's going for a longer runway. I don't blame him. Not in the slightest. Not taking off that thing and with a bloody old great anti ship missile on the underside. I don't blame you. I'm guessing that's our tornado that's going to come along as well. Yep, there he is. He's taxiing out. Look at him, he gets a spot near the uh, runway. This should be the runway here. Looks like it. 
Oh, there it goes. He wasted zero time. Look at the heat waves coming off of that thing. Jeez. Alright then. Well, I think everything is good. That's good. Uh, all looks good. Budget Chewy. Is up. Oh, we gotta catch up to this bloody thing. Relic 1, stay in formation with the TU 22. After departure, the TU 22 will maintain a holding pattern around the airport until they see that you're airborne. After that, they'll proceed along the flight plan. Keep him at your 3 o'clock position. You'll be climbing to 17,000 feet at 450 knots. Right then. <laughs> Gotta catch up with that thing first, though. It is no slouch. Ah, oh, speed brakes are probably out. Yep, exactly. Speed brakes were out. That explains why we weren't accelerating. Got the speed brakes automatically deploy when you start to savor. Keep forgetting that. Actually, look at, I think he just kicked in the afterburners. Jeez, look at that, that puff of smoke. Yeah, I think he kicked in the burners. I basically got this thing going flat out and I'm... Ooh. Ooh, first shot a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Thought I was going to have trouble keeping up with you. Seems like I'm keeping up fairly well. We're only doing 200 knots as well, so come on, mate. I think he's accelerating a little bit. Possibly. Oh, there goes his burners. He just kicked in the fires. Ooh, I didn't like that. Right, so I'm going to chase this TU-22 TU around. And I will bring you back when he launches that pretty great missile or somebody else decides to talk to us on the radio. So I will see you then. Alright, well, there goes that KH-22. Uh, have fun. <laughs> oh, so this TU-22 is not doing 450 knots. I'm doing 4 350 and I'm closing. So, you know. Slight bit of incorrect information. 
But I guess now we're going to head back to Sokiatler. That missile's gone and is away doing missile things. So, I will break things off here, and I will bring you back when we reach Sokiatler, or if something comes along and tries to uh, shoot down this TU-22. So I will see you then. Welcome back. We're just following this TU-22 around as we're getting ready to land. There's Soki Atler there, and there's the Saber being unhappy about uh, speed being pulled too low. Or throttle being pulled to idle in flight. It doesn't like that. Yes, I'm well aware, Saber, that you do Yes, I'm well, well aware that you dislike me putting throttle to idle in flight, but I'm trying to keep station on this TU-22. Which is quite hard considering he. Okay, I play, play nice with me. Hard considering he doesn't know a lot of time what he wants, what speed he wants to be flying at. Sometimes it's 200, sometimes it's 300, maybe sometimes 400, then drops down to 200, then goes up to 300. You know, it's, he can't make up his mind basically. Although I will fall in behind him here, considering that that's the runway that he's lining up with, so I'm not going to, you know, get right up his um, backside for landing. I'll, only be, I'll be like a half a mile behind him, half a nautical mile. So, we actually have a speedometer just landing. So gear down all green. Let's drop the flaps. And we need more speed because we're sinking or more power rather. We're sinking just a little bit too early a little bit too early. A thousand feet per minute is just a little bit too fast of a sink rate right now. It's a little bit too fast. See, we're not even at the runway. We're probably well below the glide slope. Although, it is nice to have a working speedometer. We are pretty much at landing speed already. There we go, he's down. Nice landing, Mr. TU. Let's see if we can replicate it. I mean, not to the same degree. Let's see if we can't land really nicely. This increase not too bad, I don't think. I think we're at landing speed. Pretty sure 125 is the landing speed. Oh, and he's turned around on the grass. Oh, that, that was nice. Careful! Careful! What are you doing? Eesh. Why would you turn around on the grass? Oh, there's a turn off there we could have taken. Oh well. A 
We'll, we'll get the next turn off. I don't need to rush about and worry about it. Uh, track IR. Stay with me. Stay with me, please. Don't glitch out on me now. Come on, get off the runway. And you know, let's park over by these F fourteen F eighteens. They're not F fourteens. Although they are working on an F-14 module. Uh, yes, we need to. Nope. Up. That needs to come up. Because we don't need them anymore. They are up. Good. Put that back to the whole position. You know, we'll park by beside this tornado. If I don't run out of speed by overpressing on the brakes. There we go. Now, where is fuel stuff? No, we don't need emergency jettison. Um, no, I'm just looking for the... There we go. Battery off. Off. Alright then. Here we go. That should be that all done. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time.